Hello, investing friends, friends of financial freedom. You want the investing opportunity of a lifetime? Take a look at Cassava Science's price. It's the lowest it'll ever be. Cassava Science has just had the best results in Alzheimer's history. One of the biggest unmet medical needs in the world. The toughest nut to crack. No exaggeration in medicine for decades. They have a drug that even after a year improves milds, which is most Alzheimer's, on an absolute basis, which is unheard of, against a placebo. This is a randomized controlled trial. Overall, including moderates, which are extremely hard people to treat, uh, including the moderates, it still beats Lakembi, which is about to get approved tomorrow. And once again, it was safe and effective. And it's a pill that you take at home. Uh, let's dive in. Let's dive in and take a look at the results Cassava, we've been waiting for the CMS. Cassava's down 14%. What else is new? The bears have attacked. This is an opportunity like crazy. Wait till you see. Oral semifilam slowed cognitive decline in randomized control trial of mild to moderate Alzheimer's disease. These are great results. Slowed cognitive decline by 38%. That's better than Lakembi. And this includes moderates. Crucially, when you take the moderates out on an absolute basis, even after a year, People are uh, being on the drug. People are still getting better and in a progressive disease where they were holding steady uh, represents getting better. They're still getting better. Even after a year on the drug, we'll see Denepazil, even though people get better on absolute basis, they start dropping off after a couple of weeks because you're agonizing a receptor, just saturating and having another cup of coffee. And by the way, with Denepazil, that was just cognition. There was no behavior. So that was just like a stimulant to, 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 to sort, of, sort of like a stimulant. It is a stimulant. Uh, and, and, and it just sort of uh, makes you more alert, but doesn't really address uh, Alzheimer's. This, as we've seen in other studies, this didn't do behavior, but because, uh, was, was doing even better in things like behavior. So it, it is having se seemingly a disease-modifying effect. These are the best results ever. Uh, drug effect favored mild and mild semifilam improved, improved. Oh, and this is month 12 to 18, remember. Uh, oral semifilam continues to be safe and well tolerated. And look at this. The study enrolled 157 patients. Remember how these patients get enrolled. People go to the doctor. Uh, my loved one has Alzheimer's disease. You know, there's no good treatments, but there's these trials being run. Experimental trials will put you in this cassava science. Looks so interesting. After a year, they say, well, you know, there's... Uh, Lily has a study, Biogen has a study, Janssen has a study, Anavex has a study, Anovis has a study. There's uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of studies being run. We, if it's not working after a year, you're going to die because Alzheimer's is always fatal. Let's put you in something else. Nevertheless, after a year, 216 total people, 157 of them were then continued on by the doctors into the, uh, into the next portion. So that is a, that right there to me means that 72.6% of the people after one year in open label were considered by their doctors to be doing well, the doctors that were treating them. And better than the, this, this drug, I don't wanna take you off it. Even though you have a 50% chance of being on placebo, I still don't wanna risk you on something else because it looks like it's 72.6% entered them uh, onto the next portion. That is a very important thing. That's a larger number than they've been reporting. So I wanted to point that out. Uh, in this double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized study, that is the gold standard for approval for drugs. Previous stuff like the year-long open label was criticized because it didn't have a comparator group. Well, this drug, there's been so many failures over the decades. There's so many placebo groups. So we have historical data to compare, but people said, oh, no, 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 no. But now we have placebo-controlled data. Randomized controlled, there's a control, in this case a placebo, and that is the gold standard for approval. Uh, double blind, placebo controlled, randomized. Patients received open label smithalam 100 milligrams for 12 months, then randomized one to one to receive either smithalam or placebo for six months. 16 US clinical sites participated. CMS had one pre specified cognitive endpoint mean change in ADAS COG 11 over six months versus placebo. Smifilan treatment for six months slowed decline by 38% compared to placebo in mild to moderate. Uh, the placebo arm declined 1.5 points on ADAS COG, and this arm declined at all measurements. The, the Smifilan arm declined 0.9, so there was 1.5 to a 0.9 difference. This is overall including the moderates. 
including the moderates. And once again, in the last time we saw the open label data, we said it looks like uh, the, the, the non-responders, or it looks like the, 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 the moderates, the moderates are, or something, the, the, the group that's not doing well is pulling down the average. And again, we have it here. And that doesn't look like it's treating moderates very well, but it does look like it's treating uh, mild very well. Mean baseline ADAS COG 19.3 and 21.9. Uh, MMSE 18.6, 18.1. These are opposite scales. So the mini mental state exam is how, or, where, or do you have, uh, do you have advanced or, um, so we have a degree of impairment, cognitive impairment. So if it's, uh, if it's under 20, that's moderates. If it's over 20, that's mild. So if, if you look at uh, basically everybody but cassava, everybody's got their mini mental state exam well into the 20s. Cassavas is under 20 overall, but the average, that's a huge, 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 huge difference between cassava and all the others. And when you look at just the mild, they do much better than all the others. Uh, so anyway, 18.6 uh, for the drug group and 18.1 for placebo. So by that measure, the, the group that got placebo, the group that got drug was slightly uh, less demented slightly than the group that got placebo, but then their baseline ADAS COG, remember this one's opposite, the higher your score, the more errors. So the, the, the placebo group actually did worse. So by that measure, the pl pl placebo group was more demented. And that one actually had a, had a, had more of a difference slightly than, uh, the other one. So basically it looks like, it looks like the, they were pretty even the placebo and drug arms because by mini mental state exam, drug arm was uh, less severe by ADAS COG. Uh, by mini mental state exam, I take it back, I take it back, excuse me, excuse me. They both have drug arm being slightly less demented. Excuse me, slightly less demented, yes. Slightly less demented, slightly, very slightly, like point, very, it's very close. Okay, My, so then monoclonal antibody drugs have slowed cognitive decline by 35%. In early, also that's early. That's early. Just in early, thirty-five. This is overall better, thirty-eight percent overall. But when you when we look at just milds, that's the real story, and that's most people. Uh, vast differences in patient selection and the design. Some uh, so this is there again. He's saying this is a very unusual study, but that, that the unusualness of this study to me favors somifilam. This is after we'll take a look at denepazil and uh, lakembi, but after one year of being on the drug, they continue to get better. <laughs> that's great. That, that's, 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 that, 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 that is, uh, that made it more challenging and they did well is what I'm saying. Smithlam drug effects favored patients with mild Alzheimer's disease, CMS patients with mild. So mini mental state exam, 21 to 26 declined 0.6 on ADAS COG over six months. Uh, that was placebo, uh, and then CMS patients with mild on smithlin improved 0.6 points over six months as a group, a 205% difference. Let's just look at the image here. So going up, you're getting, you're improving. Now remember, these people have already been improving absolutely for a year in an always progressive disease. So if they would have just held steady, that would represent progress, but they're actually on top of it progressing absolutely. And then even after a year, or is, is it even possible they could continue to get better at, on an absolute basis? Yes. Unbelievable. Look, so it's significant. It, 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 at month one, at month three, and at month six, not even any noise. Now, the placebo group had a small amount of noise, but overall, they got worse. And let's also appreciate the fact that this is a placebo group that after six months, we know with more than 50 well-run placebo trials in Alzheimer's, after six months on ADAS COG, you should have what? A, is it a five or a two and a half? I think it's two and a half. It's like five and a half points a year, so like two and a half, two and three quarters point drop. Well, these people seem to have a lingering of benefit, perhaps, from the, their time on uh, semifilam. They only dropped half a point. Maybe that represents a lingering benefit. We know there should be at least some, some, uh, we know that these don't work like agonizing a receptor in there and that you build up a tolerance and so that they do well over time. So could perhaps a lingering benefit. 
<clears throat> Patients started taking open label Smiflin for 12 months prior to enrolling the CMS, said Remy. CMS patients on placebo were in fact withdrawn from Smiflin for six months. This placebo arm declined, while the CMS arm randomized to Smiflin improved. That's unheard of. It's really awesome. We believe the emerging separation of cognitive scores between these arms represents a drug effect. Suzanne Hendricks, who did the uh, full open label data uh, from Pantera, added results for Smiflin continue to be noteworthy. The lack of disease progression and cognition as measured by ADAS COG over 18 months is well outside the range in historic placebo decline rates from numerous other studies. The placebo group in the CMS has started to decline again, but continues to maintain a benefit over historical groups. Excellent, excellent, excellent. After taking open label Smithland for 12 months, 76 patients with mild Alzheimer's enrolled in CMS were randomized to receive semiflam or placebo for six months. Mild patients randomized to semiflam showed no material decline in scores over 18 months as a group, indicating stable cognition. Mild patients randomized to placebo in CMS declined by 0.8 points in ADAS-COG as a group. And then perhaps most important, semiflam 100 milligrams twice daily was safe and well tolerated in this study. There were no drug related serious adverse events, no treatment emerging adverse events. It occurred in 5% or more of study participants. So 95% of uh, people uh, had no treatment, or not 95% of people had no treat or better, had no treatment adverse, advance event, adverse events. It is not known how long a washout period may be needed to remove lingering drug effects, if any, from prior treatment. So that was that there seemed to be a lingering benefit. And then the chain of custody and investigator sites collected clinical data from study participants site entered the clinical data directly into an electronic data capture system managed by an independent outside data management vendor. The data management vendor also maintains a clinical database. Let's take a look at here is like can be there. They, it seems like they intentionally have like the smallest, worst graphic that you can't blow up ever. So this is Lakemi. It just goes down and down and down. And this is just in milds. And this is going to get approved tomorrow. And, and their safety is horrible. So look at the, the green is Lakembi. And this is CDR. It's not ADAS-COG. It's, it's another measure, measure of cognition. But it, it's, they're, they're relatively comparable. Not one-to-one, -one, but relatively comparable. And anyway, it's just there's barely a benefit, if any. And this is in the milds and you can die. They're removing uh, amyloid plaques, which in some cases, or uh, depending where you are in the progression press, but as a regular thing, the amyloid plaques can blend in with the walls of arteries, blood vessels, and removing these things in some cases is causing micro hemorrhages. And in some cases, has, it seems to have killed people uh, horribly. So... Uh, <clears throat> And then for Aricept, look at Aricept. At, at weeks, this is there from their NDA. I wrote an article about this. I pulled this from their new drug application, which I, I, which I can no longer find online. I, I linked to it when I wrote about it. Anyway, here's, this is from their new drug application. The, the, the dark is the drug group. The light, the un, unfilled in is the placebo. So at six weeks, for some reason, everybody got better. Uh, but then, so th this is after, after 24 weeks, this is, this is Aricept. This is the Nepazil. Uh, this is 2003, 20 years ago, uh, before the monoclonal antibodies, last thing was approved. Anyway, uh, there's, it does provide an absolute benefit. Now, again, this is just making, making you more alert. It's not really disease modifying, but right away, it just starts declining. And this isn't after the, after a year of giving it to them. Uh, and then it starts to, no, no, this is right away. So right away, it basically, so you have six weeks, I guess, and then it starts declining. This is after a year of taking semiflin. People continue to get better and it's safe. Uh, Aricept's pretty safe, but the rates of discontinuation from controlled clinical trials of Aricept due to adverse events uh, were comparable to those of treatment group at approximately 5%. Rate of discontinuation of patients who received seven-day escalations is higher at 13%. Well, that's a little worse than lower than 5%. Uh, not, and Aricept is sort of famously safe. It, it, it's, not, it's not a problematic treatment at all. Uh, but it, it, Zimiflam looks even safer. Uh, so 
What do you guys think? Yes, the market uh, did what it did. The shorts. The shorts. Nevertheless, this is approvable all the way if you ask me. We'll see. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Lots of comments. Johnny English. Hi, Joe. Great news and amazing time to buy more. I would say so. Why is the stock plummeting? The short CMS with Smiflem competing with Smiflem improves. Smiflem is disease modifying. Smiflem, absolutely. This drug is working. This drug is working. 16 sites, 157 people, randomized controlled trial, the gold standard. Uh, chain of custody entered into the, into, in the electronic database capture system. This drug is working and it's safe. Is it the absolute total cure right away for everybody? No, but it's a huge, it's working. It's at least a very big part in the end in order to be totally okay, which is possible maybe. Maybe it's going to be a cocktail of drugs, but this is, looks like a big part of the people are getting better on an absolute basis after a year in an always progressive, always fatal disease safely. Good to see you. Quezzy, my friend. Great to see you, Joe, with love from Cambridge University. Loke, great to see um, Is that where you're getting your, uh, go, getting your degree? I'm so happy for you, my friend. Awesome for you. Richard, that's almost you and you and Lindsay at Oxford, you at Cambridge. <laughs> Richard, the results are in line with all other trials for this drug, validating the open label. FDA needs to approve this now. We heard from the FDA when a 24-week trial came back for Amelix, which turned out to be a smaller trial. They had 137. We said this is 125 plus. Turned out to be 157. Ours is larger. Kasavas is larger. After that, that the the data came back, the uh, advisory committee voted to approve and Billy Dunn, the head of neuroscience at FDA or neuro, whatever it is, neuropharmacology, uh, whatever it is, uh, said, we're going to do everything within our regulatory framework to approve these drugs for uh, indications for disease, for uh, neurological disease, fatal neurological diseases that don't have good treatments. Screams, screams Alzheimer's, and they were approved on that data. This is a bigger trial, same length. Fatal neurological disease with no good treatments. This is approvable all the way. Oliver, do these CMS change your share price expectation? This is basically, uh, I'll take it. This is good and I'll, this is basically what we expected. It, the moderates, okay, not, maybe not so good. The milds, it looks like it's working and it's safe and there's a lingering benefit. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Super, it's working. It's like fixing the structure. Great. And it's safe. It's working. It's working and it's safe. It should be on the market right now. Anybody really disagree? Cato, what are your thoughts on SCPH share price? Wonder if we can go below nine for all the institutional holdings. Don't know. Today's Saba. Jay, happy fourth. CMS data just greatly de-risked approval. Feel great to see this through. I completely agree. Uh, what is it? Five eighths of all Alzheimer's patients are in mild, I think. So this it looks like it's working for most Alzheimer's patients. Uh, what do we see? 157 out of 216, so 72.6% of the group they started with anyway. Tom Lou, I'm in shock. These phantom shares feed shorts unlimited quantity. Good results. Got more at 2110. Did you bottom ticket? Just about 2107 was the bottom. Tom Lou's always bottom ticking things. MT, morning, Joe. What do you think time frame is on takeout after the positive news? This is, yeah, this is a randomized controlled trial. Uh... Frankly, I don't. The fact that the market's not liking it, the takeout, they're not in the ballpark of a good takeout number. I think they got to get in the ballpark of a good takeout number before we can call it realistic that they'll go out in triple digits at very least. You know, I mean, and like mid triple digits, you know, five hundred or so at minimum. You know, so I, we're just we're not in the ballpark yet. So I think market's got to come around. I don't think this can last. Frankly, are you you are all very happy, but the only reality is the shareholders are getting ruined. I don't think it can last. That is the reality, but I don't think it can last. Getting ruined, by the way, it's still a triple from where I got behind it. Better than a triple. Does anyone feel that there's a possibility of partnership buyout in the next six months? Yes. This is randomized controlled study. This is the gold standard for approved for approvability of drugs. This is much different. This on top of everything else, in line, validating it, and again, safe. Uh, come on. This is this absolutely it validates everything else. Uh, and yeah, partnerships, but we got the share price to me has got to get in the ballpark first. Although maybe it could be, we've seen so many of these, uh, contingency value rate laden deals. Maybe they could do that and, and start striking a deal. 
uh, that it just that lets them participate in the upside. That would be very interesting. That would be very interesting. I do like the wrestler ravishing Rick Rude gave these stupid shorts real rude awakening. <laughs> Dan, has Remy filed for breakthrough? Uh, do they have to report it to the public? They don't have to report it to the public. They do have to file to get it. It could be like Archosaurus has suggested that they secretly got it that the FDA wants to give it to them, doesn't want to set a precedent with these small companies with these small trials, and says, we want to help you along, so we're going to give you all the benefits, but don't apply because we don't want to actually give you the designation set a precedent. So that, that's, and, and he made a pretty compelling argument that they're getting all the benefits already. So, Laholi, this reaction on the CMS results is very sad. If this would have been a big pharma stock, it would have been a big time, very sad. Uh, Lakembi and... Uh, Aducanumab uh, and Don Donanumab, Donimumab, they, they, well, they were represented $20 billion and $40 billion moves. This company is now worth less than $1 billion in market cap. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. This is manipulation. This is a great buy. Uh, this is a great buy. Duncan, aren't all the other companies jealous? Yes. In your own professional opinion, how long can the stock price be suppressed before a fair evaluation takes place? Roughly $5 billion market value. I don't know. Let's give the weekend for people to discover. That happens a lot. This is a people are on vacation, so the shorts are having an easier time today, like we said. But tomorrow, when the Kemi gets approved, if I think it will, look how lousy it was, and it kills people. When it gets up and this helps people and it's safe, come on. It's got to, I think over the weekend at very least, people have got to start noticing this thing. We got to start going on the, uh, Mr. Barbier, armed with this data, maybe should start going on, or maybe Dr. Burns, on the podcasts like RFK, because people are ready to hear the message that the media is stifling us and the regulators are choking us, and we have something for the people, but not the corporations. Everybody's ready for that message. They should go on a tour of podcasts. I'm completely serious. Uh, aren't all the other companies do 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 could the fact that they didn't give up an update on enrollment over the phase three be part of why the stock is down? They gave a ever they gave, they gave a word to, to phase three, didn't they? They gave a, a end of the year enrollment. They said in here end of the year enrollment something or other. So which is still still on. They 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 said Q four filled to, to complete enrollment. They said end of the year complete enrollment in here. So they, they, they were consistent with that anyway. All risk, no reward, wrecked daily. It's not all shorts, but CMS data had high expectations. It did have high expectations, but did it not deliver? Everybody knows moderates are tough. In milds, it improved them on an absolute basis. This is a randomized controlled trial. And it's safe once again. That's not awesome. It's totally awesome. This is the toughest nut to crack in medicine. Now, you make a great point. I'm not disagreeing with you, but I'm just sort of arguing with the market. <laughs> Great news should be zero in no time. <laughs> Matthew, is it possible cassava should have better luck in Europe? Uh, maybe with the regulators and, and perhaps Canada and stuff like that. Diane, thank you. Thank you, Diane. Great to see you. Lorenzo, if this is the reaction to very good news, imagine what would happen when bad news. Seriously. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Totally agree. You sound so excited. This is randomized controlled data. We've been following this story. I've been studying this stock since the end of 2020. We just got randomized controlled data. Uh, Placebo controlled trial. It's helping milds safely and on, on an absolute basis. And remember this. So this is validating all the other studies, but it did even better with stuff like behavior. If you don't need your loved ones to do their taxes, you know, you don't need your they, but uh, you want them to not bite you and stuff like that. It, they, they did even better, better on those measures historically. This is validating everything. And what about all the, the latest uh, mechanism of action about this is uh, fighting aging in general, and that's how it's working. That doesn't get anybody's attention. Come on, market, wake up. Short term, approval tomorrow, probably not. <laughs> even, even if they get approval as fast as possible, it'll still be a while. Short-term good news can hide long-term bad news. Remy has said that Saba will succeed or fail with the results on phase three studies. CMS is nice, but ultimately not that important. Uh, he has said, uh, but he all he, he said, uh, you're right. Good, good point, Elliot. Uh, he, you're right. But it, he also couldn't deny, he, it, it, him, him saying that is against uh, a backdrop of him sort of downplaying everything with the lawyers whispering in his ear. 
he couldn't deny that it, that CMS was made perhaps for breakthrough therapy designation and early entry. Even at the throw everything in the fireside chat when he was trying to downplay everything, he he couldn't he couldn't he couldn't uh, he sort of got cornered on that question and uh, couldn't deny it. So you make a good point, but that's also I think just sort of legal downplay it as well a little bit anyway. Like, liking, like, uh, please hit like. The algorithm likes like. You're going to like, liking, like. We got to spread the word about cassava. Hit like. That's how you can help. You're going to like, liking, like, and hit, hitting subscribe. Oh, man, does that help? Uh, hit like and subscribe, please. Elliot, they should have given update on enrollment of the phase three studies. Last update, 950, goal 1750. Yeah, that, that's true. That would help, too. This chat, instead of multi-baggers club, should be multi-delusional club. Now, Lorenzo, that is an ad hoc uh, ad hominem, ad hominem, ad hominem attack. So you're attacking me instead of the content. That is a good sign for the good guys. Tom Liu, Nobel Medical Prize winner, Alzheimer's and anti-aging, priceless. Even if I want to take Smith Lem to replace all vitamins, absolutely. I will join this club as soon as Saba breaks 200 to share to prove that justice is correctly served. You'll be the last one. The club is growing. JC, plus you're missing all these doubles. JC, hi, Joe. Good morning. The placebo group in this study was on semiflam prior to CMS, and that could very well have long-term effects. It seems like it did. I think that it did. We've seen how many historical uh, placebo groups, more than 50 of really well-controlled studies, placebo groups. We know what placebo groups look like. This doesn't look like the other ones, and we know that these... Uh, Small molecules targeting misfolding proteins are something like fixing a structure rather than a stim, you know, agonizing a receptor that wears off over time. So it could be that this, get, gets, that this has a long-term lingering benefit. That was always a possibility, and it seems to have played out beautiful. Safely, by the way, safely. Richard, look at the fudsters turning in and posting. Cover now, guys, or don't, and go broke. And look at the content they're using. Name-calling. What <laughs> so mild and people yet to even be diagnosed could possibly ward off Alzheimer's for the rest of their lives. I'm ready to sign up for my Sava vitamin. There you go. The, the fact that this is working by, uh, for one thing, shutting down overactive mTOR, which is uh, uh, help, which is aging, which the, overall that is going to benefit you in aging, taking this drug, it would seem. Overactive mTOR is related to aging. A mTOR is the best and really only well-validated aging target. There was, like, Dr. Carl, Dr. Carl Harrop, we had him on the show, friend of the show, he suggested semiflim was working uh, by uh, sort of helping aging overall. We had always said that filament A is in every cell in the body, and as it's falling apart in the aging process, we know it's involved in more than 90 biological processes. It could be that they're helping a lot more than Alzheimer's. They're helping aging. And that's how it's working. So what an exciting drug. And it's safe, so why not just start taking it when you turn, I don't know, 65 or whatever. Ryan, this will be approved tomorrow. It kills people and it goes straight down, but ours goes straight down. Also, I mean the price. The drug is absolutely great. I'm just amazed. Me too. What a great buy. JC, someone not familiar with Smithlam CMS may think that those on placebo had never taken Smithlam before. Would have been nice to compare with a group of people on placebo for the last two years. Uh, we'll get that in the phase threes, but we've seen that 50 something times. We know what those groups look like, but good point. Could cassava discuss these results? I would think so. I'll tell you with the European medical agencies. I think so. I will continue with my plan. Stay with this drug. As long as the science says it's working. That's not hopium. As some would say, that's science. Totally. Don't let the market tell you what to do. We know the market is wrong all the time. Vern, since mild Alzheimer's benefited, Smiflem should be tried to brain foggers like myself. Uh, the, ben the, the risk is what? Mark, we all know that most people are hoping to survive until medicine create a better treatment for the various diseases. Absolutely. Why is the stock price dropping? My opinion, my friend, it is uh, fake shares, phantom shares, uh, knowing that they can't be approved tomorrow and that there's time and then maybe they can control the narrative for a while. Maybe there's an options expiration coming up. They want to keep it, uh, uh, keep a lid on it until then. I'm not sure. Crazy stuff. Do you think we can get the nasty response from Big Pharma like SGTX from 4 to 22 with a CBR? That is the, the, the one possible, with the share price not responding. But anybody looking at the data saying, wait a minute, this is a randomized control study, larger than Amelix had and better safe. It's working for gosh sakes. 
in, a, in the hardest, uh, one of the biggest unmet medical needs ever, one of the toughest nuts to crack in medicine. It's working. So yes, some, so the market doesn't want to respond so that to that, like you said, that really brings in the possibility of CDRs, a contingent value rate laden deal where cassava gets to participate in the upside. And so if they, they could strike a deal now, because this absolutely validates everything they've done. Again, this is the gold standard for uh, provability. So yeah, it means it's, it, it, it's going to mean a lot to somebody. And uh, so, yeah, and then with the share price nowhere in the ballpark of what it should be, yes, an incentive-laden deal where they participate in the upside. Now I'm starting to think that's what's going to happen. We'll see. Considering 79 of the 155 had moderate, I would say the drug is effective for both. Biogen and Lilly's drugs dropped 1 to 2 points in the 12 to 18 months uh, on 8S COG. Silver, I like it. Super chat. Thank you, Ivan. Uh, if data is okay, why is the stock price dropping? Uh, shorts. Somifilam definitely goes a long way to give such hope to those stricken with this terrible disease along with their loved ones. I completely agree. Rainer, for me, now Somifilam is more de-risked. With phase three checking PTAL 181, more patients with real AD in the trial. So encouraging. The great point. One quarter of this trial was well screened less. 50 of the 216 were well screened to have Alzheimer's using biomarkers. In fact, they did uh, spinal taps on, on some or all of them. Uh, but so the, the next uh, 166 did not have that. So more than three quarters were not screened that way. But in the phase threes, they are screened using PTAL 181 biomarkers. Uh, historically, we know that people that don't have Alzheimer's or that have something in addition to Alzheimer's have been getting into these trials at a rate around 26%. So that this, this screening should do very well and eliminate probably most of those people. Uh, so maybe they'll have, I don't know, 90% uh, good people. So great point, Rainer. We'll see the news is done. Now let's see the real price. Yeah. Do you think we will still see an interim analysis of the short phase three rethinking 202 to get approval then? Good question. There, there's always the question of does that interfere with the data? Is, or, or do they pay a penalty? Do they have a, have a higher bar for approvability? They seem to suggest yes. Not everybody's and all the, like the message boards with, you know, people that are scientists that really seem to know what they're talking about are arguing with each other and they don't agree with each other is, is the best I can. That, so Cassava seems to indicate that if they look in early, they pay a penalty, but not everybody agrees with that. So I, I don't know, I'm not sure. Joe, the share price has been improving since you started the show. You need to keep going until four. You got it, never gonna stop. Hey Joe, I'm trying to determine why the share price is down. It seems Alzheimer's companies have different trial criteria. How can the Alzheimer's be objectively compared with each other? Well, uh, let's remember that um, uh, it was when they came when they, when, they, when they announced this study in the first place. It was it was coming out of the end of phase two meeting. You, we were looking for, oh, did, did they get breakthrough therapy designation? Well, that's usually when you get it at the end of phase two. They came out of that and they said, you know what? Uh, even though we're starting our phase threes, we're not done our phase twos. Dr. Robert Temple, architect of all the special, pro architect of breakthrough therapy designation and the head of all the special programs at the FDA was in our meeting. And look at this new uh, continuation of our phase two we're going to do. And uh, so the, that, the trial really seems to have the FDA's blessing. So they chose ADAS-COG, it seems, really with the FDA's blessing. And um, Eli Lilly for Donimumab, which never made it to market, on one of their calls discussing uh, their, their results, somebody was asking now, the, you guys, I don't, I don't know if they, they were asking you guys didn't use ADAS-COG, but whatever they used, CDR, whatever it was, they said, why'd you use that one? Doesn't the FDA prefer something else? And they said, yeah, well, we feel good about it. So it seems, to me, I think that the Cassava did what the FDA wanted, and maybe everybody else maybe did what they wanted, or some others maybe did more what they wanted. I think Cassava seemed to have listened to the FDA, is where I'm going with that. Patients on placebo for the last six months in CMS did better 18 months than any trial that had patients on their drug for the full 18 months. That says it all. Yeah, great point, Silver. Bruce, hi, Joe. The news was good for both mild and moderate, right? For moderate, I don't know. Other people are saying, you know, if you mix, mix the moderates in, there's still a benefit. But it was such a good benefit for uh, the milds, an absolute benefit 
I'm not sure. I don't know. I, I don't think they broke out the moderates, and I'm not sure there wasn't uh, any benefit. Maybe there was. But the mild, the milds, milds, it's they're the mild, they're helping the milds. Give it to the moderates anyway because it's safe. But they're helping the milds. Oliver, did they say in the release they expect to be fully enrolled by year end? I thought they did, and I thought I highlighted it, but I couldn't find it when I went back. Getting ruined, LOL. Some of us have a cost basis in the low single digits. Nice work, PJ. And we bought those shares from the shorts trying to demolish them. But that's right. Who's getting ruined again? Great results, but ridiculous price. Not fair, but uh, all the more opportunity for us. And just like PJ just said, he got in at single digits precisely because of the shorts. And when I got in at single digits, that's what I said to myself. What the, what the heck? And then we battled the shorts along the way, but I've been kept in saying to myself, it, I was able to get in at single digits because of the shorts. All this opportunity is being created because of the shorts. Let it blow up in their faces. JC. Of, uh, oh, JC, I thought you were talking about Jim Kramer. I was like, no, he didn't get behind it, did he? Tim, much information. A fireside chat, Remy stated CMS study will drive regulatory decisions. Also, confusingly, that BTD will be a delay. CMS was already in the works. So my takes, CMS, then BTD. Okay, thank you, Tim, for the clarity. Uh, shorts showing their desperation by posting on here. Yeah, and posting name calling, I'll point out. I'm not saying that this, or, or, or sort of annoying, why is it going down? Why is it going down? You should change the name of your club. Yeah. That is uh, good. If, if they came here to, to uh, argue their points and that's the best they got, great. I'm not saying this is great news, but I'm wondering, though, if there is any improvement in other groups. The mild group may be the only thing the scores. Yes, I, I would tend to agree. Uh, milds are most people with Alzheimer's. Most people with Alzheimer's have mild. Most people. Per June company presentation, over 1,390 patients are enrolled in phase three. Wow, only need like, what, 1,800 or so, so pretty darn good. Green now, the market starts to digest the news in the correct way. Silver, might the FBI be taking? You're so probably, Sean probably bought low, and now he's green is probably what he's saying. Silver, might, be, might the FBI be taking notes? Yeah, best ever. Yeah, oh, great point. This plays into uh, at the Department of Justice looking into the shorts. This plays into their defamation case. Our drug worked all along. This plays into the uh, getting sued uh, class action. Throw the class action out. Our drug worked all along. This, it, great points. All three of those things. Best ever results in six time volume to our stock down 15%. Yeah, I'm sure they're taking notes, I hope. PR says the sample size is not significant for the conference interval. Do you think that's negative? No, there was never. They, this was never, uh, okay, how many, how many people do we need to get for statistical significance? It was never powered for that, ever. It was a proof of concept all the way. That is not news. We knew that all along. Am I, I mean, it could be that they had such a great effect that it was statistically significant, but th that was never, it was never designed for that. Am I right in thinking that they designed the CMS this way to begin to show Smithlem is disease modifying as the placebo group performed far better than a true placebo? So the design of the randomized withdrawal is designed to identify uh, a population the drug works for. Uh, and that makes, uh, it, it may, and, and, and the FDA, FDA even says, and that even makes our job easier to approve you. They, they explicitly encourage uh, companies to do trial designs like this in, in order to identify a group that it works for. So let's do, let's put everybody on it for a year and then let's take the people we think it works for in this case, 72.6%. And then, and let's put, uh, let's do a study, uh, like a good one, a randomized control study. And let's see if this population, if it's really working for them. And so it's, it, this is to identify that the design is, is these, uh, these enrichment studies are explicitly designed to identify populations the drug works for. Art B, is it not a crime to start Smith-Lam to all mild patients, at least on tentative basis? What's the harm? Uh, I, I couldn't agree more. Furthermore, this is a small molecule. If they decided to give this to everybody, uh, everybody, because it's so safe, they could uh, mass produce it. They could, it's synthesized, not uh, grown, not cultured. It's synthesized. They can mass produce these things. Small molecules can be mass produced. So if they wanted to give this to everybody, they could drive the price way down and still make a ton of money. Joe, I know you reached out to Hillary. Any update? No, I reached out to Dr. E and she said her father is still doing well 
not all not all great, but like he's overall happy. She's happy. Not all great with his short term memory, she said. But overall, she's happy. And now remember, he, he took six months off. It seemed he was in the placebo group doing well, six months off, got back on doing doing well, but never as good. That six months seemed to have hurt him. But he's still doing well. He was going downhill before Simifilan wasn't uh, wasn't his old self and, and more. So it seems to me she was saying more his old self than not. So she was she was happy, but uh, not all the way back. Alzheimer's Association needs to speak to Sava up to with Sava. Totally cure. Not sure. Part of the cure. Part of the solution. Time to get the green shirt out. I'm going to give you getting uh, white long sleeve shirts and a blue tie. Viking, so long, how long before FDA approval are we expecting 18 months? Uh, so you mean how long until they get approved? If they get approved on this, it'll probably still be one year till official approval. They still got to apply, uh, stuff like that. So at least a year, I guess. Just bought 1900 more. Awesome. I was hoping it would go down. You got your wish. Good data and good price go down. What a great shopping day. Bought 500 more today from Sweden. Big show tomorrow. Yes, we were going to do the big unveiling of uh, last uh, week's uh, latest pick. Uh, but this this is the biggest news we've had in months. So we'll, we'll unveil tomorrow the latest stock tomorrow. Lily wasted their time. Just get Sava and peace out totally. Gosh, they wasted billions. So many billions. Hi, Joe. Thank you for all the amazing work you do. Kish, my friend, thank you, my friend, for the kind words. I really appreciate it. Thank you for being here, my friend. Great to see you. Probably about three years until a final decision, says Kevin, from the FDA on phase three. Just be patient. Final decision on phase three, uh, three years out, seems fair. On the other hand, they, it could be that uh, if they don't get approved on CMS, which they could, this is an always fatal disease. It screams breakthrough therapy designation. It qualifies for breakthrough therapy designation. Serious uh, disease. Well, it's always fatal. No good treatments. There's no good treatments. Everybody always dies. So it already qualifies for breakthrough. You need the preliminary evidence that it's better than what's out there. They've had that for years. They should have breakthrough. They should be on the market. So it's approvable now. If they don't get approved on CMS, another possibility is the first of the phase threes is one year and smaller. So it's possible, like Afzal says, it could get enrolled first. We'll see. Either way, it'll wrap up first. And so it could get approved on the one, the first of the phase threes as well. Who knows? Bowman, been following you for a while, represent one of the largest holders of Saba. Thanks for the sound analysis. Do you think it is good we do not have a statistical significance now because shows lasting effect? Yes. Uh, great point. It did. Almost certainly. We always knew that it, there should be at least a little lingering effect and possibly a good one. And this, their placebo group doesn't match the 50, the more than 50 historical placebo groups. It's, uh, it looks, and so it looks like there's a lingering benefit. And great point is that if, if we were going for statistical significance, then that would have messed with it. A great point. Now, again, once again, the phase threes don't have that risk. They're just people that have, the placebo group will be people that never had the drug. Great point. Uh, great to see you, my friend. Bowman, I'm so glad you're here, my friend. Rainer, uh, regarding company presentation, finished phase two and well-defined phase three is enough to show efficacy in the 10K. They say ongoing phase three. Uh, what, do you, what do you say? And it, yeah, well-defined. So a, a completed phase two. It was something about the, the I forget what it is. Uh, well-defined phase three. The, the point is the phase three does not have to be completed. They say it over and over. Uh, phase three does not have to be completed. So hopefully we'll see approval after November when phase two is finished. Right. And the good point is there's six more months of everybody going back on the drugs. So we're actually going to get more data. It'll be pretty cool. Oops, twice. Haha, you rock. Thank you, Marie. Just down 12%. Now textile. Great to see you, my friend. Fang a pandy. Any idea when phase two ends and phase three kick ends? Well, we got word, what, a month or six weeks ago that the first six months of this was wrapped up. So let's say that was, let's say that was the beginning of May. So I guess the beginning of November will be the official end of the t uh, CMS, where the, because everybody goes back on drugs. So everybody's on drug again for, for six more months. 
So I guess that'll end in no, uh, beginning of November, I guess. So right around the time uh, they're finishing enrollment of the phase threes, CMS will officially end. Art B, is it not a crime to start Smith Lamb to all patients? Right, I, I agree. Give it to everybody. Off, and, and, and you can mass produce, if you decide to do that, you can mass produce it and drive the cost way down. They should have announced change in ADAS COG from month zero and month 18. Yeah, this was always, uh, they, they were, they're very lawyered up in their presentation. Good work, Joe. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Looks like we just got our second win. I think so. I think breakthrough announced shortly and approval within six months. Tim White, who is a stickler for getting everything right and called me out on all that stuff, even though he's a bull, says breakthrough and approval within six months. I'll take it, says Textile. Semifilin, me too. My hatred to these shorts and hedge funds using these dark pools to drop the stock price to cover their short positions has no end. Great data and results, buying more at this gift of a price. I think this is a gift of a price as well. Data good, price bad, great stuff. Great buying opportunity. The share price has not plummeted. I'm not sure some panic sell. I'm sure that some panic sellers sold. Market cap still near a billion, still hanging around a billion. You almost can't even tell it happened. I mean, this could have just been a down day in the market. This stock moving 11% is not really that big of a move. Ken Duncan, this short squeeze isn't based on false info from Elizabeth Bick, et cetera, so it isn't illegal. Yeah, it's not illegal. It's unethical for them to uh, manufacture shares of your company. Uh, if somebody printed deeds to your car and sold them, they'd be in prison. Somebody prints fake shares of your company and sells them, they make a lot of money. They call you, a, they call you the criminal. They call you the liar, uh, but it's not even illegal. Prime brokers. Ugh. Good point, Ken. Silver, 40 of 78 were moderate that went on Smith Lamb. 41 of 77 were moderate that went on placebo via data release today. Thank you for the clarification, Silver. Off Zal, results are stellar in mild patients. Markets doing a knee-jerk reaction. Only trial report improving ADAS, COG, and Smith Lamb. Absolutely. Is today's number of watchers a new personal record for you? I hope you're being monetized by YouTube for today's show. Thank you, my friend. 230 people uh, for the live show is pretty good. We've, we've gotten over, uh, I think we've gotten over 400 for some of the, uh, like the, like for maybe Mr. Barbier's interview, uh, maybe over four. Some, some of the, most of the interviews don't do very well, but some of them have, have done very well. Thank you, my friend, for pointing it out. Sign up for the news, everybody. Uh, like, like, and like, and subscribe to the, to the channel. Great to see you, everybody. Thanks for being here. And thank you, Keith, for, the, uh, for noticing. So everybody that was on placebo gets somifilam now. That is correct. Everybody now goes back on drug for six months, and we'll get that data. Looks like that should wrap up around end of October, beginning November. Screaming by, I agree, Afzal. Hermosa, if somifilam works for mild, then there will never be moderate. <laughs> it's true. For the people that are doing well, they'll, 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 if you're getting better, I mean, that seems like, now that's only ADAS cog, it's only cognition, but they did even better in measures of behavior and things like that. ADAS cog is not even necessarily the most important measure of, of Alzheimer's. Great point. JC, the FDA probably wants Saba to continue running tests for the next five years, but in the meantime, people are getting worse and dying. Yeah. Well, this is, again, all the regulators uh, seem to have been taken over by the dominant players, dominant corporations. And so is it good for Lilly and Biogen to rush cassava to market? No. So what's the FDA going to do? It's going to represent, maybe it seems, cassava or, or Lilly and Biogen, unfortunately. Great work, Joe. We appreciate you. Thank you, Michael. I really appreciate you. Thanks, guys, uh, for being here. We'll do it again tomorrow. Sign up for the newsletter, and we'll continue the discussion in the Discord. Lots to talk about. Uh, what an interesting day. Uh, I'll take it. This, this data is really good. It's really good. Mild patients are improving even after all this time. So from, from months 12 to 18, they continue to improve. That's incredible. That's really, really incredible. And it's safe. And tomorrow, Lakembi will get approved on crap data that's not safe. And that was only milds. So, this, this, so we should get approved. We'll see. But are we getting attacked by shorts? I would say that we are, my friend. All the more opportunity for us. Great to see you guys. We'll do it again tomorrow. Uh, we'll reveal that new stock tomorrow. We'll keep chatting in the Discord. Sign up for the newsletter, and I'll see you in the Discord. Have a great night. See you in the Discord.